The audio's fine. <laughs> all right, we're all in there. All right. So, anyway, welcome, we to, are. welcome to Shop Talk. Shop Talk. <laughs> remote we are. Shop, shop Talk. talk. Uh, remote Shop Talk. Yes. <laughs> now we're here with George. We're here with George. <laughs> Crazy little George. Crazy. <laughs> um, at a at a location in New Hampshire. Right. Um, Not George Thorogood, but he has thoroughly good stuff. There you go. It's pretty good. He's b- b- bad to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> he is b- b- bad to the bone. Yeah. Uh, so George came to the to the ride, and he brought. Want this 750 chopper here. We'll the get a couple cast. of close-ups. Yeah, on the point. Sandcast 750 Honda chopper, straight out of the 70s. And yeah. George, like, did you even know it was a uh, Sandcast? I found out two months ago. <laughs> 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 I took the carbs off. It uh, happened to be a Sandcast. Electrical box, and underneath the electrical box, I'm looking at the numbers, and it's 106163. Nice. So I put it on, you know, our local Honda yeah, 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 group, yeah, yeah. and now that's a Sandcast. They go, what's a sandcast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a chopper. So Honda's first year at 69, you know, they, they basically didn't know what they had. They, had, they were running these as racing bikes from like 67, 68. And they said, well, we make it as a production bike. And so they make this bike for $1,450. Yep. And, you know, and they sold like crazy. And people, so Honda says, we got something here. Yeah. So they decided to go to die cast, which yep. is. You know, why, you know why they first sandcasted them? Because they didn't know if it was going to sell. Right. They didn't yeah. know if it was going to sell. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Well, like, then, the, like the Goldwing, right? <laughs> Fifty billion bikes later, yeah. right? They had a success. So, yeah. <laughs> so we asked George. We said, "We said, hey, do you want to bring the bike down for a shop talk?" And he said, "Well, why don't you?" Come see my bikes. Why don't we bring we'll the shop talk <laughs> to the bikes? To the bikes, instead. exactly. Because he, there's more than just the chopper, as you can clearly see, see looking down the line yes. at George's beautiful garage he with all the nice bikes. Quite the collection here. A lot of, Thank you. A lot of amazing, cool, cool, shit. amazing bikes here. Yeah. Cool um, shit. If it didn't sell and it's really <laughs> ugly, it's worth money. Yeah, there you go. That's, That's it. true. Um, so we've got everything from Buells in here to Gold Wings to... To a Henkel. To a Henkel Rotary yeah. to uh, uh, police bikes. I mean, he's got all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. So. And you said that you, you ride them every day. Well, not every day. You ride all the bikes. I ride them all. I, they run all... Every week they start up and they run and, you know, it's important that that happens. And George, you, fi- you do all the repair work. You do all the restoration work. Pretty much, right? Well, yeah, well... Assembly part of it. For 42 years I was working weekends doing weddings and parties and stuff as a DJ. And yeah. I know I love motorcycles since 1971 and I've um, always had a bike and everything and so 20 years ago the uh, this couple I'm meeting with they, they're telling me uh, oh I guess sell my bike to you know for the wedding and I go okay well what kind of bike and they said it's, it's a silver wing over there, the 82 and I said, I said well I'll tell you what I'll DJ for the bike there you go and I'll throw, I mean, throw you some money you know because yeah. I the bike was yeah. so after 20 years of having this bike what happened was I've you know I've done his wedding twice and I still have the bike. <laughs> Excellent. What other bike, bike do you have? <laughs> oh my goodness. What was the sure. second bike? That's great. That's great. That's great. Um, and I told him this is a saying in the DJ world is if I do your wedding twice, the third time's on me. There you <laughs> go. Don't have any money there you go. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. So yeah, what that's... what is the oldest bike that you have? So the oldest bike's not here, it's at the shop, I'm working on it right now, it's a 61 uh, Honda 305 Dream. Cool. And I have a 63 I'm working on right now as well, so yep. I'm really into the 305s, trying to learn how they work. And They're really simple, but yep. it's just trying to you know, work with the carburetors. And you know what's really important is I'm finding that stators, I don't know what it is about stators and, and, <laughs> <laughs> and brushes yeah, and we. starter motors and stuff like that. <laughs> it's, it's so key, when I open it all up, I go, whoa. <laughs> so I, hey Rick, can you help me? out here <laughs> that's great yeah yes. if you have old bikes chances are you know ricks so that's for yes, sure that's, yes. and clearly you have some old bikes yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. cool uh, old bikes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, and, 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 I, and i have a lot of new ones too and i really appreciate you know how they handle and how they run and they're so safe you don't have to think about twice about it but when you get on the old bikes you go how did i ever ride this bike yeah. it yeah. takes 30 yeah. feet to even think about stopping yeah you yeah know? so yeah so what is the newest bike so the newest bike is coming tonight. Yeah. I mean, of course, another one. Why not? Roll yeah. some more bikes. Another, another wedding? 
<laughs> yeah, no, yeah, retirement, COVID killed the business. And I, yeah. and I said, you know, I'm all right. I'm all done. Finished yeah. up with six jobs I had left. And I, I was pretty much done. I said, yeah. okay, yeah, I'm just cool. going to play with the bikes well, and stuff like that. It's a lot Fun. of work riding all these bikes. Isn't it, it is. Yeah. It, is yeah. it is a job. People you know? don't realize. Yeah, we go to motorcycle shows. You know, uh, yeah. you all had a show last year. It was such a great turnout. It was such yeah, it was great. Kawasaki's, eh, but they were there. <laughs> uh, George likes his Hondas. Now let yeah. me tell you about Kawasaki. Okay, <laughs> Kawasaki was one thing. Okay, <laughs> don't let these guys hear. But in 1973, I had a 750 Honda, and what happened with that 750 Honda? I had the coolest, fastest production bike. I mean, buy the Harleys and everything else. And all of a sudden, at the end of '73, I'm riding down the road and <laughs> right by me. KZ 900. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm not talking about the two strokes, I'm talking about the 900. Yeah, so. the inline four 900. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. It, it, double overhead cam just made that thing breathe so Z1s. well. The Z1s. Yeah. The Z1s, Z1s yeah. Yeah, they were fantastic yeah. bikes, but I hated them. We haven't, <laughs> we haven't named the, the people that ride those. <laughs> oh, yeah, what do you call them? The K's idiots. K's idiots. <laughs> the K's idiots. I have some. I, I have, have some. some. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. My My guess is <laughs> no. You will. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, George, uh, like all the bikes we talked about, what was the uh, what's the uh, oldest you had and what's the newest you had and everything. But as I look around, you have stuff here from the 80s, and mm -hmm. you know people are thinking nowadays like, oh, that's that's modern stuff. But if you really stop and think about it, we're talking about stuff that's 25 and 30 years old, yeah, older. and, and yeah, older. older. And yeah. it's like uh, that's we vintage were, now. We were talking about that. What's the next kind of uh, thing that that people are going to start collecting on we think it's going to be stuff out of the 80s right? well that's what's great about old bikes the, the support that's out there for repop and all the parts that you need for your vintage bikes uh it's it's easy to do now a lot of the parts are around if you think of anything that you need for yours that isn't available let us know what do we, what do we have to do smash the smash or the, button, the like the button, button the like mash mash potato button the mash potato right. button you can actually smash even the smash button you could actually call yeah <laughs> i know how old and stuff that yeah, is but yeah. you could actually call yeah, we have people that answer the phone yeah, yeah. human beings yep Oh, well, cool. George, this was awesome. Yeah, oh, amazing. It. Thanks for coming over. And yeah. Oh, thanks for having us. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah. It's like your yeah. own personal little mini freaking Baba Museum here. That's yeah. right. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. cool, man. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. Love it, George. Thanks no. for, thanks for thank having you, us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Same here. Thank you very much. You man. So, thank you, George. Thanks, guys, and everything. And, uh, <laughs> See you later. <laughs> That's it.